Making multiplayer games is hard, and I've never made one, so why don't I try today? And to make this even harder, I'm gonna make it in Godot. But that's all the talking done, challenge starts now. But before we start, you should join the Discord server in the link in the pinned comments. The server is a place where we talk about our projects, share our projects, and really just talk about game dev. So if you want to join, link is in the pinned comments, and we'd love to have you. Back to the video. The first thing I did was started drafting out the art. Most people say do the mechanics first, but I say do the art because it can inspire mechanics as you go. Now the player is, I don't really even know what it is, it's like a duck with a big nose. But he's kind of cool, so I just made him the main character. Then every character has a feather on top of their heads. It can either be blue or red to signify their teams. Then I started doing some background tile set and props concepting, but I threw it out because it was like, it wasn't good. It kind of didn't really fit the game that much. So I kind of just threw out that concept art and just focused on doing something else. I just realized I haven't even talked about the game. So it's going to be a catch of the flag game where you have to steal each other's flags and you have to take out the other person before you can get your flag there. It's, it's basically just capture the flag. But the next thing I did was create a brand new project in Godot and then I organized it. And I organized it by creating folders such as scene folders, art folders, script folders, and this can massively help you out when you're working on your game. After I organized it, I created a temporary tile set for the game that would end up swapping out later for some better tile sets and more interesting ones. This one was pretty bland, but it served the purpose of just creating something that the player could walk on. The next thing I did was create a player controller that was actually not too bad to play. Um, it's basically based off the game that I'm currently working on, a 2D Metroidvania, again made in the Godot engine. Watch the previous videos that I have on my channel to see what I'm up to on there. But yeah, the player controller was actually not too bad to play, and it added some animations to it like jumping, landing on the ground, squash and stretch, running, idle, all that stuff. After the player controller was done and fun to play, I created basic multiplayer by referencing a video and I will link that in the description. This video actually taught me a lot about the basic multiplayer and I would recommend it if you're going to make multiplayer in Godot. And this multiplayer worked, but it wasn't up to the standards that I needed. But I did have issues with animations not turning and syncing across the network. In basic terms, this means that the player could animate and like walk around, but the other player could not see that person animate. After about two hours of looking for solutions on Stack Overflow, Reddit, Godot Docs, I finally came across a post on Stack Overflow about this issue and I kind of reworked it and it made it work for my situation. And it actually works pretty well and after that I had some basic multiplayer going with animation syncing, position syncing, scale syncing, it was pretty sick. But then as I was testing out the game, I noticed that the menus are actually pretty bland and they just did not look good. So I ended up creating a custom menu that just worked a lot better and it made so much difference aesthetic wise. After I got the menus working, I started implementing some actual basic mechanics for the game by implementing teams. So now the players would each have a red and a blue feather on top of their head. So it would signify if they're on the red team or if they're on the blue team. Next, I implemented the main mechanic of the game, which is capturing people's flags. This took way too long due to me having to constantly use RPCs. And yes, I do know that the red flag is the Austrian flag, but I don't really care enough to change it. After that, I implemented a mechanic where you could dash into other players to send them back to their spawns. And like always with me, it took me about three hours to actually get it to work. Then I implemented a score counter, so if blue team wins, they get a point, and if red team wins, they get a point. The score counter is displayed on the top of the screen, so it's just easier for both players to see. But once you spawn into the world, the game immediately starts, which is actually pretty bad. So I added some numbers and a countdown till the game starts. So when you load into the world and you're bo both the players are in the same game, the countdown will go from 5, 4, 3, 2 to 1, and then it'll say go, and then you can move. Then I implemented some sound effects to make the game feel a lot better. For example, when you dash, there's a little swish sound, and when the countdown starts, there's sound to that too. The final thing I did in this game was I created some better tile sets and art for the game, like I added some rock tile sets, some better dirt and grass tile sets, and then I just added some props around the game. And then I added a cheeky little reference to my main Metroidvania game that I'm currently working on. See if you can find it. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, in conclusion, I probably won't make another multiplayer game. But maybe if you guys like this video enough, I'll make another one. And this game right here, I probably won't release it to itch.io because it has a lot of bugs in it. And it's probably not that stable. But yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe and join the Discord in the pinned comments below. And I'll see you another time. Have a good day.